whenever we got down to Dublin, we had a 45 minute turnaround and we were out across the road like a shot to get the cheap cigarettes and food, sausages, whiskey, drink, and bring it up over the border because it was cheaper in those days. And you just had to keep it away from the customs who walked through the train when it came to Portadown. And I loved it. I loved every minute. The staff were wonderful, the passengers. And I would never have dreamed of taking a day off. The railway link between North and South must be kept open. It is vital to our island, it is vital to the workforce of our island, it is vital to life. Let them go! Let them go! Let them go! Irish women unite to fight for their rights. Let them go! Um, we really didn't know what to buy because we can't get them down there and very few, I don't think probably anybody in that group has used contraceptives before. The train doesn't stop till it arraigns in Dublin. The politicians stab at my hand <laughs> on the wrong day. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Well, my hands, I'll do it so well. The service started in 1947 with only one train in each direction. We've now got 16 services, eight trains in each direction. And looking forward to the future, we really want to bring this to an hourly service. Uh, we've plans to procure a new fleet, which will uh, come into service in 2027. But we're also working with Irish Rail to see if we can get an hourly peak service in place by as early as the spring of next year.